In today's video, I'm going to explain the drama between your boy Blazer and I that has happened on the server since the last episode. This video is kind of crazy, and if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. On with the video. According to YouTube statistics, from the last 28 days of watch time, over 52% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you guys would subscribe, for real, it really helps out the channel. I know a lot of YouTubers say this, but for real, guys, it really helps out the channel. And it inspires me to make better videos. So, if you would subscribe, that would mean a lot. Let's see if we can get it to 50-50 by the next, in the next 28 days. So, by January, let's see if we can get it to 50% subscribed and 50% not subscribed. I believe in you guys. Let's also see if we can hit 300 subs. I know that's crazy, but I think we might be able to hit 300 subs before February. Now, before we get on to how I scammed your boy Blazer and the, all the drama that went on with that... I'm going to answer a question that some of you guys might have had from the last video, which is the nether. How are we dealing with that in this series? Well, we're about to find out. Basically, Mitch on itch set up a nether portal, and we all had to choose a random number, and yes, we all got a random biome. I know what biome I got. I've been in it. Guys, yeah, we didn't get... We got the Soul Sand Valley. Hello. Hello. It looks like Mitch is going in as well. Yeah, we got the Soul Sand Valley. Not epic. Very not epic. But we do have skeletons, which is nice for our crossbow. Which I don't know if I showed this in the first video, but we have a crossbow now. Which is kind of our... I don't, yeah. We don't have any arrows on us. Let's put our helmet back on. So yeah, we don't really have much here. We have these nice columns, but that's that's it. We have a couple ghasts every once in a while, which is good for gunpowder, but I don't know. It's not really optimized, so at least we have some bones, I guess, which is pretty good. But not all in all, not the biggest fan. We got a couple zombified piglins over there. Uh, all in all, not the best, but not the worst either. So, yeah. Now, let's get on with the rest of the video. I want to show you guys the house, which is now completely finished. Look at it. It looks so beautiful. Ah, oh, I love it. It looks really nice. Uh, we haven't moved anything down there yet, but we do have a bit of interior, so I'll show you guys that real quick. So let's head down here. And then we'll get on to the whole drama thing, but <laughs> there's a lot to it, so might as well take our time. Let's grab our bread. I'm a little bit hungry. And then let's head on in. Here it is from the inside. We have our nice manta ray head. Then we have a nice little painting. Another one right there. Some yellow windows. I thought they fit the house pretty nicely. I don't know if we had the fireplace last episode. But we have a fireplace now. As well as a bed. Which I plan to make yellow. And then in here. This is where I can hang my crossbow. So yeah. Crossbow. Crossbow. Hello. Oh. I would have cried if we lost my crossbow. I've started to grow an attachment to it at this point i i use this crossbow to kill creepers oh skeleton hello hello bye thank you for the arrows by the way though <laughs> so let's get on with the whole drama of this video which is what you guys are presumably here for how did your boy blazer and i start some drama so basically let's go over to his base for the beginning of this What is this? Oh, skeleton. Wait. Skeleton, not the time. Not the time, buddy. What is this? Go down for surprise. Yeah, I don't trust this even a little bit, but what's down there? Looks like a sign. What is this? Um, if Manta sees this, he has to... Blazer was here. Which is not a good sign in this series. It, it really isn't, which we'll get onto that in a little bit. So, the start of this all started with this sign. Hey Manta, I fed and sheared your sheep and cows for ya. Blazer. This all started from this one little sign. Basically, Blazer had seen my cow and, I guess, chicken farm. And decided to feed them. With my, at the time, limited wheat supply. Now, I, I wasn't... You know, gonna make a big deal about it. It's just wheat. But then I thought about something. I could 
get him to pay me back for this because he technically broke the rules of the server, which were no stealing. Now, I wasn't upset or anything, but he technically broke the rules, so I was going to bend the rules and his breaking of the rules to my benefit. And I went to his base, and I left a sign at his base, which I don't know if it's still there, but we can check. Knowing him, he probably took it down. Looks like a spider died here. If you guys haven't seen, this is Blazer's base. It's looking real nice. Aw, oh, he took the signs down. Basically, I left a sign right here that said, Blazer, I see that you fed and sheared my sheep and my cows. You used my limited supply of wheat. I would like a reimbursement of 64 one stack of wheat. Now, this was fair. This was all fair game according to Mr. Lawyer Mitch on Itch, who is on the server right now. This was all fair game according to him because he stole from me. Then, the drama really began from there. After I told him that I would like to be reimbursed, we talked on Discord and he said, Fair enough, I shouldn't have sheared your sheep or fed them without asking you or using your wheat. And he decided that he would pay me back. And here are the signs that he left along with a chest. Yeah, basically, he left signs saying that he was sorry, and he gave me my wheat, and I have screenshots of those, and then he gave me a 64 cobblestone, which was nicknamed Wheat, and at this point, I decided that I was about to make him regret this. I was not upset. I, at this point, had already got back all that wheat and more with my wheat farm, which is growing over two sacks of wheat every time I collect it. He didn't know this, though, so I decided to make a big deal about it on Discord to Mr. Onich, who is, once again, still on the server, and Mitch Onich confronted Blazer, and this ended up with a bunch of drama on the series, literally almost us ending, ended up having to go into court, because Blazer refused. I'm kicked from the server again. <laughs> If we check these signs over here, you'll be able to see that I was able to get more than just my wheat out of him. Here's your actual wheat this time. Glad we're friends. Blazer. I made your embassy. It's on the stone hill, by the way. If you guys don't know what an embassy is, basically it is a plot of land on his base. Basically it's a house in his area. Yeah, I was able to negotiate an embassy out of him. And then if you check the chest, there's my actual sack of wheat and two acacia doors. Real nice of him. Yeah, basically, as you can tell, I didn't really need the wheat because I'm just now grabbing it. So, yeah. Sorry, Blazer. I kind of tricked you. But to be honest, you kind of deserved it, and I got free wheat in the end. And I didn't even have to lie. Everything I said was the truth, but I just kind of didn't make it... I didn't make my intentions clear. So, we're going to go check out that embassy so that you guys can see it. And then we'll probably end off this episode of Entanglement. Yeah, you might have seen it when we were in Blazer's area earlier, but the Stone Hill, that is my embassy. That little andesite diorite thing. Yeah, I don't know exactly what he thought he was getting from this, because I don't think he knows that I'm allowed by the laws of an embassy. I'm allowed to rebuild it. I can take it down and rebuild it. I just can't go any bigger than this. Which, this is a fine enough space. Double bed, furnace, crafting table. Nice little sunroof. I'm allowed to rebuild this. I, I, I don't know if he knows that, that I'm allowed to rebuild this. I, I don't know. He might, but either way, I'm planning on rebuilding it at some point. But for now, we just have an embassy. We can kind of look out at Blazer's area at all times. So you guys might end up seeing me out here during some of his videos. Just depends on if I want to stalk him or not. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. There's been a lot of drama on this series already. I've also heard that there's even more drama w between Blazer and Mitch, where I guess Blazer's accusing Mitch of stealing from him, even though they traded. I I don't really know. I'm not involved in this one. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button subscribe. It really means a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye now.